Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Bucket Ponds, and today I'm here to talk to you about detritus worms. Now, detritus worms are often misunderstood and mislabeled. Um, people call them pests, people call them parasites, uh, people are grossed out by them, all sorts of things, uh, and it's just flat out wrong. These uh, small little worms, they're about two-eighths of an inch long, uh, and these little worms are pretty much in every planted aquarium that you've seen. Uh, there may not be very many of them, or, you know, in my situation, I've bred up thousands of them on purpose. Um, these worms are not deadly. They're not going to hurt you. There's nothing wrong with them. Uh, they're just little detritivores. They eat the muck in the bottom of your aquarium. And uh, myself, I've actually done some experiments and proved that they literally consume mulm. The mulm layer in the bottom of your aquarium, that brown stuff that you vacuum out, that's what these guys eat. Now, in my situation, um, I've also found ways to feed them with uh, fruit and vegetables, uh, much like the snails that you see swimming around there. Those are bladder snails. And uh, detritus worms are very easy to keep. Now, if you're trying to identify them, I hope this video helps you out. Um, there's literally several thousand of them on screen right now, so uh, there's a good look at what they look like. Individually, they're, you know, just little worms, but together they form like a, sort of like some kind of mass net. And they, uh, typically they'll stick to the substrate, they'll stick to the bottom of the tank, and you'll just see them kind of, you know, waving around a little bit. Uh, but mine like to do some interesting things, uh, they ride the microcurrents in the water and all that stuff. Uh, now these little worms, they have a, a really bad reputation, and they get a really bad treatment in the hobby. People don't fully understand them, and they automatically fear things that they don't understand. Uh, just like the bladder snails, people will kill them and smash them and talk about how they're pests in their aquariums. Uh, meanwhile, you know, the bladder snails should be in your aquarium. Honestly, if you're running a freshwater, you know, native tank, why not? There's nothing wrong with them. They don't hurt your aquarium at all. They don't hurt your fish. They don't eat your plants. They're useful. They clean your glass. They're friendly. And that's the same uh, story of these detritus worms. They eat muck in the tank. They eat leftover food. And uh, they're generally entertaining. Um, also, they're great live food for fish. I have one aquarium right now uh, that doesn't have numbers like this, but there's still a fair amount of worms in there. Um, I uploaded a video about it recently, and I'll put a link in the description. Uh, but my fish in that aquarium are so well fed, I'm worried they're going to get overweight. <laughs> but uh, yeah, detritus worms are not that bad, guys. Um, please don't try to kill them. You know, try to work with them. If you have a situation like I have here, which I highly doubt, um, I turns out I'm one of the leading experts on raising detritus worms in the hobby. So that's a, a point of pride for me. <laughs> but if you have uh, a large number of detritus worms in your aquarium, the easiest way to cut down on their numbers is to stop feeding them. Just stop feeding them. Cut your fish food down, you know, just, just barely feed your fish, just feed them light for a week or so, and you'll notice the worm numbers will drop down dramatically. Uh, in my case, I feed them intentionally. I feed them certain foods like cucumbers. And, uh, because I like them, I like to use them. I legitimately love all my little creatures that I have raised up here. I built a little world for them and they're just doing great. Um, if you would like to purchase some detritus worms, maybe for your own culture or for your own ecosphere or biosphere experiments, uh, I sell uh, macroalgae on my Etsy shop. That's etsy.com, E-T-S-Y, etsy.com slash shop slash bucket ponds. And I'm not trying to push a bunch of uh, products at you guys, but I do sell macroalgae that comes with a bunch of these small creatures. And it's a great place to start if you're interested. I also have a fair number of videos on my channel about raising detritus worms and uh, the struggle I went through over the course of a year learning about them and mastering them. It turns out there's not much information online about uh, how to keep these guys alive. Most people just want to kill them. And uh, I understand why, but when you think about it, a empty glass tank with a filter on the back with a fish inside that's not natural that is in no way natural or sustainable and the second you turn around for a little too long you leave it alone for a day or two you're gonna have problems with that aquarium uh, you run a nature tank like this there's no fish in here mind you but when you run a nature aquarium a true nature aquarium like mine there's no maintenance involved all I do is feed them once a week and in return I have all these little creatures to watch and to study and they're very amusing and uh, what more could you want from a pet? You know, to me, there's no difference between an aquarium with fish and an aquarium that w with snails. 
you know, uh, I love my snails. They're great pets, too. And they, they also get a bad rap in the hobby. So anyway, guys, this is a uh, video about detritus worms and bladder snails. I'm Bug at Ponds. You can find me all over the internet, Pinterest and Etsy and some other places. And uh, yeah, if you want to support the channel, please like, subscribe, and maybe even buy something out of my shop. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for clicking my video, and I'll see you next time.